What's up guys, it's Shuna. Welcome back to another LBA battle. This is week two, round three versus Tom, aka the owner of the Saray Litlios. Very, very down-to-earth guy. Uh, you guys may know him as Tipster Jones. Um, he has a YouTube channel. That'll be in the description below. Um, but a very down-to-earth guy, very nice guy. And uh, dang good Mons player too. Um, he was in the league last year. Um, and he's been in the league for a couple of years now, I think. And he's had immense success. So... Going into this week, I was very, very nervous, um, especially because there are a lot of mons on his team that can just wipe out my team. We'll, we'll go ahead and look at his team first. So he has Dusclops here, uh, which is probably specially defensive to wall my Thunderous, um, which is a little scary. <laughs> um, he also has Latios, which can do a lot of different things, which is very, very scary because Latios is a threat to my team. I don't have a whole lot of safe switch-ins to Latios unless I bring something like AV Drill, but even then he can go Earthquake. Um, he has specially defensive Rotom Heat. He has Swords Dance Mega Mawile, which, you know, if that doesn't scare you, then I don't know what's up. And uh, he has Crawdon, which is another potent wall breaker for Mega Mawile. And he also has Infernape. Looking at my team, I have physically defensive Clefable uh, to hopefully take on a little bit Latios and uh, tank one hit from Crawdon or uh, from Choice Bandit Infernape. Um, I have Thunderous here to help me with speed control and it also outpaces his entire team, um, which really helps a lot and its coverage is amazing. Then we also have Gengar, um, which is good, but it's speed ties with Latios, so I need to watch out for that. Um, I have Specs Gothitelle in order to trap Dusclops. He also has Blissey on his team, which is why I brought Gothitelle. Um, I have Gyarados, uh, which is Dragon Dance, three attacks, uh, Crunch Waterfall, Earthquake, and I have Excadrill, uh, which is Choice Scarf, Excadrill, and looking at his team, um, he has zero Mons that are immune to Mold Breaker, Earthquake, meaning I have a Mold Breaker, Earthquake core, so as long as I use a Gyarados to Dragon Dance up and weaken his entire team, because it can actually do that, then uh, I think I have this game in the bag, um, but you know, we'll go ahead and see what goes down. So, Tom is issuing the challenge. Um, I end up leading with Clefable as he ends up leading with Infernape right here because I saw Infernape could have rocks for him, so wanted to moon blast to that. Uh, he ends up going for the U-turn right here, which is fine. Um, I kind of expected him to stay up or stay in and try to get up his rocks, which is why I ended up going for the moon blast right here. Um, because I didn't want this thing to get off a ton of hits on me. Um, could have gone for rocks right here. As you guys see, that was probably the better play. But uh, he goes out and was Barbie, which is Mega Mawile, as uh, I go for the moon blast right here. And what I should have done right here is gotten my rocks up because I had other mons to take on Mawile. Um, and I know that Tom really likes to optimize his speed on his Mawile, so um, I know that he will outspeed me right here. And not going for rocks right here was probably my biggest mistake of the match. Actually, I'm not even sure if I had rocks on this Clefable. It might have been CM Clef. Um, but he ends up going for the Swords Dance right here. And immediately I'm scared because I could say, oh, he's just going for Iron Head. And I could try to get a, a cheap switch out into something like my Gyarados. Um, but plus two actually does knock out physically defensive Clefable with play rough, so there wasn't any use in me switching. Um, so he just goes for the Iron Head and absolutely decimates my Clefable. So he already has a 6-5 advantage. But, you know, Clefable wasn't super important for me in this match. Um, so, you know, e even if I lose that, it's okay. Uh, I end up going out into my Gyarados right here because I can get the Intimidate drop. I can take a Sucker Punch really well because I will resist it and he's only a plus one. It'll only do about like 25-30%. That's stupid. But, <laughs> um... I'm just going to go straight away. Do I go for the Earth? Yeah, I go for the Waterfall right here. I didn't want to reveal Earthquake at this point in the match um, because I wanted him to think that Latios may be a safe switch at, if I don't have a Dragon dragon Dance up. I get the crit clearly mattered. Um, but right here, he's going to go out into Brody, which is his Dusclops. And uh, there's no reason for me to stand right here. I was really worried that he was going to make some sort of aggressive double right here and try to... Uh, catch my Gothitelle in versus Crawdon, but that is not the case at all. I go out, I go out into my Gothitelle, and I think right here he forgot that um, ghost types are immune to trapping, but you know, it's all the same. Maybe he just didn't want anything else on his team getting tricked, which is another possibility, because um, right here I'm going to go straight away for the trick. I'm going to give him my choice specs. 
so he has choice specs into whatever move he chooses to go for next. <laughs> and thankfully, it's not Shadow Ball. Um, I get in a Violet as he goes for the Nightshade. Um, and at this point in the match, I was like, okay, he's going to switch for sure. He's going to try to go out into Crowdon or something. So I go for the Thunder Wave because um, I didn't want to get swept by another dark type after me being locked into Psy Shark or whatever. Um, but, you know, uh, he ends up staying in, which was probably a good play. Uh, didn't want anything else to get status. And uh, I'm going to go down to Nightshade plus Burn. So um, he is now ahead again, 5-4. to four, And this is kind of a theme where we're just, like, trading one for one. But he is locked in to Nightshade. And so I know he's going to switch out. So I'm going to go straight away for the Dragon Dance because if I look at his team... All I need to do is break any potential sashes, and I spam Earthquake, and I win. It's that easy. Um, so I Dragon Dance right here. I know he's either Scarf Infernape or Scarf Latios. Um, and we see right here that he is Scarf Latios, and I'm like, all right, it's fine. I got this in the bag. I just got to knock him out with the crunch. But alas, the 10% chance to paralyze me gets me. That was a 10% chance to paralyze me. Really unfortunate that I'd had to go down like that. Um, because uh, he goes out into Infernape right here. And I'm actually going to pause this point in the video right here as he, as you guys can see that he goes for the Thunder Punch. Because um, I was actually talking with D-Train after this and he was like, oh, well, he may have had Mock Punch or whatever. Um, and I've been thinking about this like all week. Um, he, so we know he was Stealth Rocks. That's the only reason for him to bring this and have it be sashed. Stealth Rocks, Close Combat, Thunder Punch, U-Turn. Even if he was four attacks, I highly doubt he would bring double um, Fighting Stab. He would more than likely bring something like Endeavor to a weaken Clefable if it tried to sweep. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and continue the battle right here. But we see that he goes for the Thunder Punch, which is really unfortunate. Um, at this point, even though Excadrill can really help me, um, I can't risk him having something like Stone Edge for Thunderous because I actually do need Thunderous. Um, so I'm going to go ahead into Excadrill. I was kind of thinking he was Banded Ape at this point also, that he may be locked in. Um, but I'm just going to go for the EQ. And uh, we see that he's Sash. And I'm kind of theory mind this out in my head too. Um, and I couldn't have gone out into Gengar and taken something like a Flare Blitz because I, I actually need Gengar for later, too, to help me deal with Dusclops. Um, I needed Thunderous to help me deal with Crawdon, and because uh, it can outspeed it and force it to go for Aqua Jet. Um, and, you know, those are, like, the last two members of my team. So it was, it was just a really unfortunate situation that that had to happen. Like, um, Tom, if you're watching this, I'm not mad at you. Um, I don't want that to come off as me being mad at you. It's just really frustrating to see, like, all this preparation go down and essentially have the game come down to a 10% chance. But, you know, Pokemon is a game of 10% chance uh, things. It's a game of inches. Um, and it's a game of coin flips. And sometimes it just doesn't go your way. Um, and, you know, at this point, I've probably already spoiled the result. But Gengar is going to pick up two kills right there, putting in the work. Um, and he ends up going out into Missy Woods, which is his crawd on. Uh, he's going to go for the Aqua Jet right here. And uh, I was really disappointed I didn't click, like, Sludge Wave or Focus Blast. Uh, but he could but he could have been Double Sash. So I'm just going to Willow him right here, uh, which actually makes it a lot easier for the rest of my team to deal with. Um, but at this point, I'm fairly certain I only have Thunderous and... Um, Gengar, and I'm still trying really hard to win this match at this point. I doubled the Thunderous, which Brendan named not worth it. Okay, <laughs> and um, what I could have done right here, I don't think it would have mattered, though. Because um, I don't think I could have gotten off enough damage. Um, I could have gone into Gengar here and tried to play this out, um, but I still don't think I would have had a chance. I probably should have gone for Super Power right there, just in case this came in. Um, but, you know, that's going to pretty much wrap this one up. As I said, really unfortunate that it had to come down to a 10% chance, uh, but that just means I have to uh, prepare that much harder and uh, play that much better in order to um, compensate for those 10% chances next time. And uh, I just have to play to where 10% chances won't be an issue and I can just lock the game up. Um, hoping to have my round four match today, and hopefully I'll have it up tomorrow. Um, that that's the goal 
<laughs> it's a pretty valiant one, I think, but that's the goal. Right here, I had to hope that he would have gone for a pain split or something in order to win. So he just goes for the Volt Switch to knock me out. And uh, so he is going to go ahead and pick up the 1-0 victory as um, he's going to Volt Switch out into his Chronon. I'm going to go into my Thunderous. Um, I could have gone for a T-Bolt right here, um, which was probably the better play, but... <laughs> I wasn't really thinking. I wanted to keep Thunderous in the MVP race, and I wanted to uh, have it have a good differential. Um, he just goes for the Aqua Jet. I should have gone for T-Bolt right here. There was no reason for me to go for Superpower, but I was afraid that he would double or something. Uh, so I'm going to hit him with the Superpower, but as you can see, even Burn Thunderous is going to be able to power through right here. So, you know, uh, unfortunate this week, but, you know, you, you got to deal with it. So if you guys did enjoy this week's uh, LBA battle, Please make sure to leave a like. It, wow, I didn't actually die. Oh, no, I'm going to go down to the burn. That's right. Um, if you guys did enjoy uh, this battle, please make sure to leave a like. So it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, which is, um, how do you guys think I prepared for this match? Um, how would you have done it differently? I kind of want to see what your guys' thought processes are. Um, because I think that's a big part of learning, especially in a league where I'm not too familiar with the format yet. Because... Um, seeing the way that other people do things I think is a very good way for me to learn and it kind of helps me pick up on farther ways that I can prepare um, but with that I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content and with that I'll catch you on the flip flop